All right, guys, we got a little Zion XB. Common fucking problem is the tensioner pulley. <clears throat> It's usually, it's usually, it's usually just the pulley that goes bad, the bearings inside that go bad. Um, sometimes the tensioner, or this um, little spring on the tensioner um, can like break, but that's rare. Usually they just, the bearings go bad. Um, as you guys can see up there where my ratchet's at right there that's how you loosen the tensioner it's a 19 millimeter um you can either do what i'm doing i already replaced it but let me show you guys how to get to it um you will have to remove the wheel obviously remove this little plastic cover it's just held down by a couple tabs um <clears throat> so 19 millimeter you have two options you can support the engine remove the mount and then you'll have enough clearance to come all the way up this way with the ratchet and then use a breaker bar and break it down and then loosen the tension and get your belt off I'm not gonna do that all I did was I put my 19 millimeter ratchet I moved it up as far as I could into this little gap then I used this wrench and I just came down come t down towards you and then what I did is um, I used the screwdriver and I came in at an angle from over here like this and I started uh, slowly prying the belt off off of the pulley careful don't let go of the fucking wrench you're gonna pinch your fingers but that's how I did it <clears throat> and then um, I never removed this after I got the belt off I just let the belt hang and then I just let the ratchet come up and hit up against the mount here and it just stayed in place because if you let it go it's gonna spin all the way up and then you're gonna have a hard time putting the wrench the, the um, ratchet back on there <clears throat> so this is the easiest way now the part brand new the whole assembly you have two options $350 or $250 we're not doing neither one of those we just went and got the pulley we got it for 26 bucks um, once I uh, got the belt off, I just used the 14 millimeter, came in from underneath, came in from underneath, used my 14 here like this, like that, and then I just used the breaker bar right here, and I broke it loose, and then you have to use your fingers and uh, untie or you know, loosen the bolt out. Then the bolt comes out first, and then the, the pulley comes out. <clears throat> then you come back up here after you tighten it up. You run your belt back over all the pulleys. Um, it's not that hard. Um, the AC goes around the crank. Then it comes up around the small tensioner pulley to the back over the power steering pulley. God damn, there's a fucking spider on me. Sorry guys, I missed the fucking words. These bugs are messing with me. Um, and then it comes straight up over the tensioner pulley, over your alternator, and then around the water pump. And that's the pulley I use to get the belt on the water pump. All right, once you do that, once it's on there, stupid bug, once it's on there, you just let go of the tension, the belt should drop in its place, make sure it's on all the little teeth, and then you should be good. We're done. I'm going to tighten everything up, and I'm going to start it, test it out. All right, if we 
did our work correct it should start perfectly make no sounds <clears throat> And the belt should unrip because it's ran correctly. She's alive! Fuck yeah! Common issue. You stupid pulleys in the tensioner. And no, you do not need to replace the whole fucking assembly. Fuck that shit. Nobody trying to pay $350 for a little ass fucking spring. There's enough tension on this shit. You can feel it when you try to take the tension off of it to get the belt off. Obviously, if that shit drops down with no effort, you know it's bad, but there's plenty of tension on this. Hopefully, this helps you guys. Alright.